tell everyone this is my first ever attempt at whatever this story time, whatever it is. So, excuse if it's poor, which it probably is poor, but you know, you get what you get for a first try. So, let's just get on with this story. So, me and my mum and my grandma used to have like this girls day out thing where we used to go thingy. I don't know if I could say where, but you know, basically... We were in the car and then to always waffling and I'm bored. Anyways, I say a lot of anyways. Oh my god, anyways. We get there and my mum buys the entire of Primark because Britain. And we're just walking around, my mum's rampaging at some 2p machine eventually because it's a rip off. Well, they are these days, anyways. And then there's my grandma with her like 7 billion tickets. I'm not even kidding, like. She must have felt like a celebrity. I'm not gonna lie though. I used to help carry them, so I felt like a celebrity too. She so, you know, all the kids that would look and be like, <gasps> so. Then we'd sort of like chill out on the beach, I'd look for shells and be disappointed because they're all broken, as per usual, which is lame. Anyway, so we were, my mum's having a seat outside the car and we're in the parking lot and my mum's waffling at me in the car and she's like, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, what? I'm like 13 or something in this story, so I'm not really fucking listening. And then we see these two kids roll down this car window and they have bread. Like, just a shit ton of bread. I would have animated them, like, properly in the car window, but I'm too fucking lazy to do that. Anyways, they just start throwing this bread around everywhere in this parking lot, like, what the hell? And then all of a sudden there's like, a swarm, like an army of seagulls that arrive. So these kids get fucking freaks out and immediately roll the window from like get in the car and just hide. But anyways, the seagulls eventually disappear. We get this woman and no idea what she's saying because the windows are rolled up, but she's waffling to a kid and she's like storming her head and she's like yelling at her. And this kid's carrying like this hot dog in this tray thing. And she's like she turns around like because the kid's quite trailing far behind. She's, like, yelling at her kid. And then all of a sudden, as she's, like, yelling at her, this seagull <laughs> swoops down, takes a sausage out of the hot dog, driest hot dog ever, by the way, and just takes it. This kid looks like she's just seen a World War Two bomb in her face. Like, she's like... So this mum's, like, looking at the kid, and she's like, where the fuck is your hot dog? And the kid sort of, like, just looks up at the sky, like, obviously indicating like a bird and this mum stands there for a second in silence says nothing and then just completely flips out like she was like i just paid three pounds fifty for that hot dog it was like uh, me and my mum are howling in the car my mum i don't think she really cared she was like what the hell she eventually got back in the car and <laughs> me and my mum are still howling in the car She's in rolling her eyes. And that's pretty much the end of the story apart from that. But it's a pretty funny story that goes around in my family every once in a while. Like, we'll be eating hot dogs and I'll be like, Mum, did you pay £3.50 for that hot dog? Just one of them weird ass stories that you look at and you're like, what the fuck? It's a bit of a short story, but for a first attempt at whatever this is, it's not that bad. And I hope it doesn't turn out that bad. But yeah, I'm going to go. So subscribe so i'm not miserable inside <laughs>